This is Twit. So mine is a paid app. It's a dollar, but I really think I've got a winner here. Uh, it's really, really cool. So this actually kind of taps into some of what we talked to uh, talked about at the beginning of the show with Google changing settings. Well, you can't really do anything about that, but with Bouncer you can control the permissions you're granting third-party apps uh, really closely. So if you're a little bit paranoid about what any number of apps are doing on your phone with permissions like camera or location, well, never fear because what Bouncer does is it gives apps only temporary access to say camera or location or any permission and then switches it off as soon as you leave the app, um, which is really cool. And it sounds a bit like magic, but basically what they're doing is they're using Android's accessibility API, which is how they're able to do that. Um, And though Google doesn't really condone using the accessibility API for apps that don't directly relate to helping people with disabilities use smartphones, Um, it has said that it'll make some exceptions for innovative apps. And I think this is very innovative. Um, Also, it's, I think it's now up on APK Mirror as well, but um, it's made by Sam Rustin, who you might remember him as the same guy who made Weather Timeline, which is a a very Mm -hmm. popular material design award winning weather app, but was sadly just pulled from the Play Store um, because he couldn't afford it. So I help Sam Rustin out and download this app. And I think um, you'll probably just really enjoy it if you're somebody who's a little bit um, concerned with privacy of their data. So, which is, which is a really big topic right now and something that I think a lot of people would be glad to do something about. So that is Bouncer. Yeah, and uh, I found I found the app in my app tr- uh, tray that is the perfect kind of example of this, which is the Fortnite installer, right? Because you can't get that right. through the Play Store. You have to go to their site in order to do it. And they, you know, they they had big news shortly after the installer was released about how the initial version of the installer was not. God, I can't remember this. Seems like so long ago, but it was only a couple of weeks ago. But anyways, it it was treating. The, the the download improperly to where another app on the phone could actually intercept that permission and put some sort of file on your phone if run concurrently with it. Um, and so that needed to be updated. So you might not want to keep these permissions always open for the Fortnite installer. This would be one way to do that. So, so then when I run this and I see Fortnite installer here, I just tap that and remove the permission or... The, the, Right. I mean, you remove it, but when you go into the app, it will let it'll enable it temporarily. Oh. So really, you don't have to worry about anything. It keeps Got everything it. really simple. It's so you can be a little bit paranoid, but you can be paranoid in a lazy way, which isn't that just the best. So update. Uh, Fortnite installer granted storage. Would you like to remove it when you press home? Oh, and that's what it does. Right. So then once you press home, right. it automatically kicks it out. That's really cool. That's really neat. So that is Bouncer. It's 99 cents to get the app. And and so basically it's running in the background. And then anytime you install something, it asks you at that point, do you want this? And the minute you exit, it will remove that permission. That's really handy. I have to say. It's pretty cool, huh? Very. <laughs> you're like, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to gonna win. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's very cool. Very cool. 